Full body tracking is something most VR users end up wanting to try out at least once in their gaming lifetime. However, for some reason, whether it's the fact that it's quite cumbersome to put on all the trackers and then have to take them off, or maybe it's the setup, or it maybe it's the price, a lot of these people end up not even going near full body tracking. Well, dobry wieczór wszystkim. I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you possibly the cheapest way of really good full body tracking that we have tried in a long time. And I mean really good. This actually works. There may or may not still be some DIY involved, however, that depends on whether you will want to pay more or pay less. This is quite customizable and you get to choose what you want to do. So with that intro out of the way, let's jump in to me explaining exactly how you can get this done. Slime VR is a project that has been running for multiple years at this point. Their trackers are quite advanced and can do a lot of things. However, what you may not know is the fact that it's open source and fully customizable as well well, which means that if you have any other sort of trackers that you would like to use in combination with Slime VR, you can actually do so, as long as you have a chest tracker and a waist tracker that are compatible with Slime VR. I highly recommend that you guys check out our Slime VR video, it's actually one of my favorite videos on this channel, links for that will be right up here if you're interested in the project or in how to set it up and how it works. Today we're trying out something a little bit more experimental, and yes, we will be using Slime VR for it. You see, with Slime VR, you need a certain number of trackers in order to even get the project to work, because it's based on a lot of computation when it comes to IMUs. However, Virtual Desktop has recently come out with a new update. This is a beta update, so you will need to join the beta channel, more on that in a second, but what it does is it takes Quest's estimated upper body tracking and throws that in as Vive trackers, meaning that you no longer need the entire suite of Slime VR trackers, you can actually have full body tracking with just four Slime VR trackers. So if you make these DIY, the price substantially goes down. The fact that it is based on that brand new Quest inside out body tracking though, means it will currently only work with the Quest 3. But would I recommend this method? That's for you to judge when we actually jump into the game and try this out. But in case you are interested in trying this out, let's jump onto the computer and let me show you how you can get this done. So first things first, you're going to be required to join the beta branch of Virtual Desktop. This is really simple to do, just jump onto the Meta Store, find Virtual Desktop inside the store, scroll down here and change from live to beta. This will give you all the latest features and do keep in mind it's a beta, some of these things may have bugs. You will also be required to download the beta version of Virtual Desktop onto your computer. Links for that will of course be down below, it's just a GitHub link, you click on that and you download this latest version right here, the EXE for Windows. Then you install it like you would any other Windows app and it will replace the current version of Virtual Desktop that you have if you have one. Once you have this installed, type in your Oculus username right here so that the Quest can find your computer. Now, on your Quest, you will want to update the Virtual Desktop application in case it hasn't done so already on its own, and this will put that beta version from the beta branch onto your Quest. Now, inside your Quest, you'll want to select this, emulate Steam VR trackers. This will allow the Quest to take its upper body estimation and turn it into essentially Vive trackers for PC VR. Now, there is going to be a problem here. Virtual Desktop not only creates upper body trackers, but also creates lower body trackers. These are not as good as the upper body tracker part. They're still better than having no trackers whatsoever, but what we're trying to do here is get really good full body tracking. So you will require an additional little piece of software that is on the virtual desktop discord pinned to the beta channel. And of course, links for this will also be down below. This piece of software will actually allow you to disable the lower body trackers inside virtual desktop. So you want to download this, extract it, launch it, and disable the trackers that you don't need. For us, that's going to be the entire lower part of our bodies. Once you have this done, you're pretty much ready to go. Put on your four Slime VR trackers. That's going to be your ankles and your thighs. I also have a foot tracker because why not? So theoretically speaking, I've got six here, but you absolutely do not need the foot tracker. Now is going to be potentially one of the most important parts. And of course, videos on how to install Slime VR and set it up right up here. But now what you're going to want to do is launch Steam VR from Virtual Desktop. You will see all your Virtual Desktop trackers appear right here. You should also see your four Slime VR trackers appear as well. Now, inside the Slime VR server, you're going to want to assign the Virtual Desktop trackers as your chest 
and your waste. This is very important as Slime VR needs these in order to know where to place its own trackers. Once you've done this, stand straight and reset. You should see that the tracker is now in the correct position and they're basically bound to the virtual desktop trackers, which is brilliant. This is exactly what we want. And you should see that they move in the correct direction if you've done everything correctly. Now you can fire up VR chat or any other game that you want to play with full body tracking and calibrate your trackers. That's it, you're pretty much done. You've achieved full body tracking with nothing but upper body estimation and only four slime VR trackers. So let me show you exactly how well this works so that you can judge for yourself. Jumping directly into VR chat, you can see right here that everything kind of works exactly how you'd expect it to. Elbow tracking from virtual desktop works just fine. You're able to move your elbows up and down like this, and you can see that translating into VR chat. What I have been told in the past is that there is a little bit more latency here than there is with slime VR trackers, and you can see that happening right here, right now. You can see the latency between those. However, you won't really notice that when you're gaming, unless you're trying to use your elbows to fight someone or something like that. With like tracking, the latency is just as good as Slime VR has always been, which means brilliant. And you can see, because it's bound to that chest and that waist from a virtual desktop, it's all working ideally. Here, I'm also able to lay down and sit down, and there's no issues with that whatsoever. You can also lean forwards and backwards because those virtual desktop trackers are using the upper body skeleton that Meta gives them, which allows you to do these kinds of things, unlike where without it, your character would just kind of walk forward really weirdly. So that all works. I even tried a few crazier things, like laying down on the floor, completely or sitting up with one of my legs up and one of my legs down tried moving my foot around because I did have that extra foot tracker and I even tried push-ups surprisingly push-ups did actually work with upper body estimation. I'm not entirely certain how this works. I was expecting the quest to lose tracking of my elbows. However, it seems to have continued tracking just fine. I highly doubt doing a handstand would work though. I can only imagine how much that would confuse the quest. I tried spinning around. I tried some really fast movements like jumping up and down and jumping up and down did actually decalibrate the trackers one time, but I do actually think that this was just one of my trackers moving out of position because I recalibrated and they went back to working just fine and that didn't happen again. I tried jumping a few more times, I tried spinning around, I tried kicking, I tried really fast movements and again, it worked just fine fine. So, the most important question, do I think that this is a valid solution for full body tracking for those of us that are looking for the cheaper method or the easier method? Because this also only requires you to put on four trackers. You no longer need to strap on a waist tracker, chest tracker, elbow trackers, things like that. And the answer is absolutely yes. Is it as good as a fully blown slime VR skeleton? I would say no, especially with the current latency, but I would absolutely say that this is miles better than having nothing and it works for most of our needs. Sitting down, jumping, kicking, things like that. It seems to work with these, no issues whatsoever. So if you guys are really looking for the cheapest possible way of good full body tracking, this might be your go-to. I would love to hear your opinions down below. What have you guys been using for full body tracking so far? As I know you guys can get quite creative and let me know what you think about this method. And do you think it'll get better over time? Either way though, that's going to be it from me today. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night wherever you guys are in the world. And if you guys like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess it works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and our Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And as usual, thank you so, so much to the Patreons. You guys are amazing. Seriously, much love. And thank you to anyone else supporting the channel in any way, shape, or form. If you leave a super thanks or anything like that, much love to you as well. Seriously, you're helping out a ton. And as usual, if you guys want me to do a bunch of content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. Jak tam pierogi? It's okay, this is like... Very nice pierog, my friend, very nice. Very good pierog. Okay. Hello, Pa.